Billie Jean King being your first uh, <clears throat> your first uh, uh, guest, uh, and you saw, I'm sure, uh, in theaters, I don't know if you saw the movie, the movie about Billie Jean King versus Bobby Riggs and the in the Astrodome. Um, I'm wondering if you think that she thinks that what she did on that day still resonates and makes a difference today, Dick. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. She feels that her stand uh, for equality uh, and how it impacted, especially uh, the women who who cheered that victory over Bobby Riggs. Uh, many of your uh, audience, your older uh, listeners, have, uh, saw that on national television. Howard Cosell was the broadcast. <laughs> In a tuxedo, I believe, Dick. I think he wore a tuxedo for the event. Yeah, and uh, it's interesting how they did some movie magic, To um, uh, Rosie Casals became the color person at the event, only because Billie Jean wouldn't uh, uh, do the... Uh, the match at all if Jack Kramer, who had stood against women getting the mm. equal rights or equal pay or equal opportunity. Uh, so Rosie Casals was with Howard Cosell, and yet in the movie, the actress Rosie Casals is standing with Howard Cosell, and it's Cosell from the actual telecast. I mean, it's amazing how that what they've done in blending in the actual event, the actual play with the uh, the actresses and the actor uh, uh, who both, uh, you know, the, the acting is fantastic. And I would recommend the movie. And one of the things that I wanted to ask Billie Jean, even before I saw the movie, is why when she uh, became divorced and became uh, involved with her gay partner, uh, and they handled that uh, sometimes in a steamy manner, um, why didn't she go back to her maiden name? You know, she was Billie Jean Moffat when I first interviewed her after winning Wimbledon in 1966. And uh, and she said, I just, I like the name Billie Jean King. My husband, Larry King, not the uh, talk uh, uh, master uh, Larry King. Yes. Uh, Larry <laughs> King said, why don't you go back and take your maiden name? She said, no, I want to keep King. And it's kind of interesting that their relationship, I think one of the beautiful aspects of the movie is uh, revealing how Larry King, I can't even imagine what would happen to me if I discovered that all of a sudden my wife not only didn't love me, but loved uh, another woman. Uh, and yet he has maintain a, a close friendship. And to this day, Billie Jean King is the godparents of Larry King's uh, children with another marriage. Wow. Unbelievable. Dick, uh, I, I encourage everybody to get Sound of Success, the Dick Enberg podcast on Podcast One. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.